reach the ground. My ears can't hear the sound of the tongue. Reach the sky, we'll fly up to the moon. I know we'll be there soon. Wait and see. They... Hello, everyone. I am doing another outfit of the day today. I have been doing some very natural makeup looks and some very casual style looks. So I thought today I would do a dressy look. I felt like getting dressed up. I'm meeting two girlfriends for lunch. And so I thought I would do a more glamorous dressy day look for my makeup as well. I'm wearing eyeshadow, mascara. I'm wearing foundation, blush, and bronzer. I think that's it. So it's a bit more than I would wear on an everyday basis if I'm wearing makeup just to go meet girlfriends, but I thought it would be fun to try a different look. I am wearing quite a few new items, so they are available online. I will link everything I'm wearing as well as my makeup on my blog, and I will put that link to my blog down below. It will say item links for this video. I always put that corresponding blog post link down below in three places. I put it at the top of the comments. I, what do you do, pin it to the top of the comments. I put it at the top of the description box and I put it inside the description box. So three places you can get to the corresponding blog post that goes with this video and you'll see everything I'm wearing and all the links. I'm wearing gray and blush pink, and I'm carrying uh, this bag today. This is by Kate Spade. I bought this in, I think it was 2017, and it was a favorites uh, that year. I love this little bag. It is saffiano leather. As you can see, it's quite petite, but it is crossbody. I love that the strap is actually re uh, removable. Oh, my phone is ringing, excuse me. Luckily I have it on mute, so it's just vibrating. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but my purse is vibrating. I fell in love with this bag because of this bow detail. It has little uh, crystals all along the front, and then of course this pretty bow. It's very girly, and it's a kind of a mauve pink which I think is really pretty, and I thought it went well with this sweater, which is new. So that's my purse. Well, let me show you how much it will fit. It's, it fits the essentials. It's got my phone. As you can see, I have my phone in here. I have Kleenex, but a small package of Kleenex. And I have a mirror. And then I will put my lipstick in once I talk to you about it. I am wearing two lip colors, actually a lipstick and a gloss. And these are not new. This is fairly new, but I've worn it before. I wore it on my vlog where I went to lunch at the French. It was a rainy day, but I forgot to bring it with me. So I didn't get to wear it the rest of the day after lunch. So I wanted to use it again. So this is Sandstorm by Zuzu Lux, and I put on top of it, well, let me show you a video of me putting this on so you can see the difference between my lip color and then what my lips look like after I put this on. It went on very creamy. It's very moisturizing. These lip colors are so smooth and silky. I love them. Now they don't last as long as some after you've eaten a meal. I do need to put it back on, but I love it for the moisturizing. Now this one is a creamy uh, peachy pink color. So I thought I would add a little bit of shine with this 100% pure transparent crystal lip gloss. I don't need it for moisture. I just thought it would be fun to give it a little bit of shine. So let me show you putting that on. I just put it in the middle, as you can see, and then pushed my lips together. 
and that is the final look, the two together. It's a subtle difference, but I like it. It's just a little bit shinier. So those will go into my bag. Also, I wanted to talk to you about some makeup brushes I've been using and loving. Sigma sent me a, a kit of brushes, my goodness, last year. And over the last year, I've been trying out all these brushes and I haven't even gotten through them all yet. But I've found some that I love that I keep going back to and keep using. One of them is this foundation brush. Right now I have three favorite foundation brushes and this is one of them. This is one of them. This is the Sigma F82 Round Kabuki. Let me show you. It is so soft and it's so dense. I think you could use this for wet or creamy foundation. I use it with dry powder foundation. I absolutely love it. Then for stippling the blush, powder blush, or creamy blush onto my cheeks, this is the brush I use. This is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 Air Brush. You have to make sure you get the air version because it has different lengths of bristles. It's perfect for just getting a light amount at a time of blush onto my cheeks. It's a kabuki brush, so you could use it for other things as well. Perhaps people use this for foundation. I don't know. I like it for blush. That's what I've been using it for. Absolutely love it. And lastly, this. This is the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush E40. This is fantastic. Now, I use this brush for eye looks. I use it to apply shadow to the crease. I use it to blend shadow in the crease. I use it to blend shadow at the lash line and under my lashes. Uh, I use it, I then clean it off on a Kleenex and I use it to apply the setting powder to set my eyeshadow or eyeliner just a fantastic brush and the reason I love it so much is it's soft. It's the softest eye brush I found for blending. I have very dry skin, very crepey skin here and if I rub most brushes in that area it feels like sandpaper. This one, now I don't do the sweeping motions and the windshield wiper but I do brush down like this and brush up like that and this is soft and it doesn't feel like sandpaper. So three wonderful brushes. I recommend them so much. Thank you Sigma for sending them to me. I love them. Is that all? The one thing I guess I wanted to talk about was this sweater. I forgot to mention that it is. Uh, it has pearl buttons. I don't know if you can see. Let me show you. And I just think it's so pretty, so feminine. It is a, it's not cropped too short and it's not cropped too long. So it's perfect to wear with even low slung pants. I'm wearing sort of, I guess they're medium. They're not high rise and they're not low rise pants. They are wide leg ankle pants. As I said, I will put everything I'm wearing on my blog and that link to my blog will be down below. It will say item links for this video. This also is a newer piece and it is pearls and 18 karat gold. But what is so great is it is adjustable. You just pull these tighter or looser to make it the length you want. So I made it a length to fit with this bracelet.
I just think it's so feminine and pretty and I thought it went well with this sweater. One more thing, if you are not a subscriber to my blog, I hope you'll consider subscribing because my blog subscribers find out firsthand when I post a new blog post or a new video and I don't inundate your mailbox with a lot of emails. At the most it's once or twice a week and lately it's been once a month. But as I said, if you're subscribed to my blog, you find out right away when I have posted a new video. Coming up next is my outfit. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.